Bahrain. 36 years ago, oil began flowing here. It brought prosperity, a prosperity that has been wisely used to serve the people of this island state. This is the new town of Isa, one of the most ambitious welfare projects undertaken so far, which, when completed, will rehouse one-fifth of the total population. To date, it has cost six million pounds and represents not only an achievement for Bahrain, but for Britain too. Together with many other British contractors, Wimpy's, the British construction firm, was chosen to design the entire project. The houses are planned for all income groups in three price ranges on a large site donated by the ruler, Sheikh Isa bin Suman Al Khalifa. Jetliners from all over the world regularly fly industrially in to this commercially attractive land. But the planes arriving on this day were bringing representative well-wishers from many governments to attend the formal inauguration of the new town, a place of beauty as well as of functional merit. The spiritual as well as the physical needs of the population have been well provided for. Isa Newtown is, in every sense, a wonderfully successful achievement. This day was one of celebration for a people who realize that their welfare is being well cared for. The popularity of His Highness the Ruler was in no doubt as he arrived at the new Olympic Standard Stadium for the inauguration ceremony. The man who had made it all possible presented a commemorative key to the first resident of Isa Newtown. Formal Arab custom still had its place in the 20th century setting before the celebrations began. In the arena, 2,000 schoolchildren, the Sheikh's daughter amongst them, gave an impressive display. A football match between Bahrain and England was another highlight of the celebrations, which lasted for three days. The impressive fleet of limousines had brought the ruler and his distinguished guests to watch the England International Amateur Eleven make its first appearance in this part of the world against the Bahrain national team. The English boys, who were personally greeted by His Highness, had flown out especially for the match. Naturally, most of the 11,000 crowd were hoping to see the home side win. But this was an occasion where the long-standing friendship between Britain and Bahrain was expressed in terms of sport. It was the game which mattered more than the result. The two captains exchanged banners and then, in the unaccustomed heat for the visiting 11, the Bahrainians kicked off. The strong English team quickly got the measure of the home side and pressed attack after attack. It was a very entertaining match, a perfect way to launch the stadium on its sporting career. The final results gave victory to England 4-0, but the generous crowd showed no disapproval. And it was in the same generous mood of hospitality that a sumptuous feast was staged at the government palace. The banquet was an occasion of luxury in typical Arab style. The diners were honored guests in a land where much was being achieved for the comfort and well-being of the people. It was indeed worthy of celebration on a grand scale. Already 750 families were settled in their new homes, homes they can afford, their health, education and material needs well catered for. The new town of Isa had been born and over 90 British firms had played a vital role in making it possible.